ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا ما يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار all praise and thanks belong to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we praise him we thank him we seek his help and we seek his forgiveness whoever allah guides there's none that can misguide and whoever he allows to go astray there's none that can guide and i bear witness that there's nothing worthy of our worship except for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and i bear witness that muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a slave of allah and his messenger and the seal of all the prophets salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi my dear brothers and sisters in islam what appears to occur sometimes amongst our brothers and sisters or a misconception that some muslims have either because they are prone to following their desires or they simply have a misunderstanding is the claim that islam as a deen is hard to practice or that there's too many do's and don'ts or that everything is like haram first and foremost this is not befitting for a muslim to say for a muslim who believes in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the last day this is not the attitude that we should have while we have been ordered by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that we should live and we should die as muslims submitting to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah azza wa jalla he says wa atiu allah wa atiu rasul and obey allah and obey the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam wa ma atakum ar rasul fa khudhuhu wa ma nahakum anhu fa antahu whatever the rasul gives you whatever the messenger orders you with then take it apply it implement it wa ma nahakum anhu fa antahu whatever he forbids you from and prevents you from then you should stay away from that you should leave it some people have this incorrect concept in how the religion of islam is practiced this misconception is that i don't have to observe all of the commandments of allah i don't have to practice everything because the deen is easy islam is easy and we should not be extreme islam is easy and we should not be extreme this is a true statement kalimat haq urida biha al batil that it is a true statement but why the person is saying this he in fact intends falsehood the concept which in fact is not in line with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the quran and with the sunnah of the prophet ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam we can pick and we can choose some people say what is convenient for us to practice what we can do what is easy for me pr- to practice of islam and then leave certain things out because the deen again they say is supposed to be easy and when it comes to the sunnah of the prophet ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam we can only take that which seems to be optional and nothing more all of this is in fact incorrect though the prophet himself did say sallallahu alaihi wasallam inna ad-din yusr inna ad-din yusr wa lan yushad ad-din ahad illa ghalaba that indeed the deen of allah it is easy it is easy and whoever overburdens himself in the deen of allah he will not be able to continue in that manner so the deen is easy but we should not go overboard fastaddidu wa qaribu wa abshiru wa sta'inu bil ghadwati wa rawhati wa shay'in min adulja he says ali sallallahu alayhi wasallam in concluding this statement you should not go overboard you should not be extreme but try to be near to perfection and receive the good tidings 
the good news that you will be rewarded and gain strength by worshiping Allah in the mornings, the afternoons, and during the late hours of the night. This is the advice of our Prophet ﷺ. So if someone does not establish the deen in the first place, the foundation itself, by submitting to Allah Azzawajal and carrying out the commands and leaving the prohibitions, they cannot come and claim that they are following the deen of Allah or that the deen is easy and we can relax or I don't have to pray five times a day. I don't have to wear hijab. I don't have to do this and that. But I can be lazy. I can relax. And in turn, neglecting the obligations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What it does mean though, that the deen is easy, is what Allah had already legislated. That there's no need to add things to Islam. There's no need to add things or to adjust things in Islam. Because the deen is easy. And if someone does that, by adding things or adjusting things to the deen itself, to the rulings of Islam, by adding or subtracting, then this is not what has been legislated. And in fact, the person is overburdening himself. Like the people who practice bid'ah, they're adding things in the deen to seek nearness to Allah. They have the intention, a good intention to do a good deed, but they're adding something. So they're going overboard. And this is not allowed. This is not accepted in the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if a person continues on that way, he will be in fact overburdened. When we look at the story of the three men, and this is a hadith that many of us may have heard, three Muslims, three people from the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, they heard of the worship of the Prophet, the ibadah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and how beautiful it is, and how he is so committed to worship in Allah. So one of them said, I will constantly fast every single day and I will not break my fast. One, the other said, I will pray the whole night. I will not fall asleep. And the third one said, I will not get married. I will not get married. I will remain single. When the Prophet وسلم, heard about this case, he says, as, as for me, I pray at night and I fast and I break my fast and I marry, I marry woman. فَمَنَ رَغِبَ عَنْ سُنَّتِي فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي And whoever turns away from my way, from my sunnah, then that person is not of me. He is not following my example. So this is the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we can see. And it includes the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu The way that he worshipped Allah azza wa jal. And there is nothing of a better model that we can look up to other than Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam. Looking at the five daily prayers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated them throughout the day, and they are easy. But they will overburden someone whose lifestyle is not adjusted to Islam. For that person, it would not be easy until he starts to organize himself to commit to these five daily prayers. It will not be convenient for someone who is not adjusted to the, who is not adjusted to the rulings of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we cannot adjust the deen to what is convenient for us. But we should adjust ourselves. We should adjust our lifestyle, so it is in line with Islam, not the other way around, where we try to adjust and fit Islam around our way of life. We can't work at, any, at the bank, for example, because it's a riba-based institution. We cannot work there and then say the deen is easy, so I have to work, I have to provide for my family. So then what he's done, he's, he's adjusting Islam to his life by making this job halal for him by making what is haram working at a haram place and then saying Islam is easy no, we go and find a permissible job to begin with then we say Ad-Din Yusuf then we don't overwork ourselves and so on and so forth and we seek the risk from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nothing from the commands of Allah is difficult when we look at the month of Ramadan for example it only comes once a year once a year, one month out of the whole year and we look at zakat, only certain people are obliged to pay. And this is only if their wealth reaches the amount of the, of the nisab, of the threshold. So, and then there's people who don't even have to pay the zakat. And then you look at hajj, it's only oblig obligatory only once in your life. In fact, a person asked the Prophet, is hajj obligatory every year? This was in the, in the beginning. The Prophet remained quiet. This man asked for three times. The Prophet says, if I said yes, it would become obligatory. Don't ask. Don't, why are you trying to make things harder for yourself? 
right? Islam is as it is, as Allah has legislated it. We don't need to add more to go overboard in that, in that which Allah has already legislated in this deen. So where is the difficulty? This excuse that we don't want to do certain things, or too many things are haram, or we want to go easy on ourselves, and we tell other people, hey, don't go overboard. Don't be too strict with the sunnah of the Prophet. Doing this and that. And we use this hadith as a proof, inna deen yusuf. But it's being used in the wrong place. The hadith is correct, but this understanding that some people gather from it is incorrect. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he grants us the correct understanding of the deen. Allahumma ameen. Aqulu ma tasfaun. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Hadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, when he addressed one of the companions by the name of Imran ibn Hussein radiallahu anhu, he says to him, Salli qa'iman, fa'in lam tastati' fa'qa'idan, fa'in lam tastati' fa'ala jamb. He says, perform the prayer standing. If you cannot do that, then sitting. And if you cannot do that, then lying down on your side. So yes, the deen is easy, alhamdulillah. And Allah says, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرِ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرِ Allah, Allah wants ease for you. Allah does not wish to make things hard on you. So, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who legislated everything in this deen. He commanded us to establish the prayer. And if you are sick and you find it hard to stand, then you sit. But it doesn't mean that you don't pray because Islam is easy. It doesn't mean that you don't pray because the Prophet says, don't go overboard. Islam is easy. But you have to pray. And you have concession to sit. Because Allah does not wish to make things harder on you when you're standing and causing you pain. And you are sick and you need to rest. But you still need to pray. Because Islam is easy. So the deen of Allah Azawajal is in fact Yusuf. And it is only people who make it hard for themselves. When they go beyond what Allah has legislated. And there is no one who better showed us how to worship Allah other than the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we can't do any better whether we add or we remove. And that's impossible. And Allah said, And fear Allah. Keep your duty to Allah to the best of your ability. Likewise, when a person becomes Muslim and they enter Islam, you know, they have to stop eating pork if that's what they were used to doing. They have to adjust their lifestyle to Islam. So they stop eating pork, stop drinking alcohol. They change the way they dress and the way they speak. They adjust their lives to Islam. And this is what we should do. We should submit to Allah. For Islam means submission. And Allah says, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أُدْخُلُوا فِي السِّلْمِ كَافَةً وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا خُطُوَاتِ الشَّيْطَانِ That all you who believe, enter the deen of Allah completely. Enter into Islam in submission completely and do not follow the footsteps of shaitan. And those footsteps of shaitan, which shaitan beautifies to us, is from our desires and our inclinations, which are wrong at times. And shaitan wants to beautify them for us and cause us to deviate from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah that he makes us firm on this deen until we meet him. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqan warzukna tiba'ah wa arina al-batila batilan warzukna istinaba. Allahumma ya munqalib al-kulubi wa al-absar thabit kulubin ala deenik. اللهم يا مقلب القلوب والأبصار ثبت قلوبا على طاعتك اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر إخواننا المستضعفين في كل مكان يا رب العالمين عباد الله إن الله تعالى أمركم بأمر فبدأ في بنفسه فقال جل من قال عليما إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وأنم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين هذا والحمد لله رب العالمين وأقوم الصلاة